you're lucky enough to get your hands on the $20 note, have a close look at it. On one side you'll find some fascinating designs. They're very elegant and they're drawn by a thing called a harmonograph, which is really a combination of two different pendulums. It's fairly hard to make a harmonograph, but you can do something a bit similar with a sand pendulum. Let's see how the thing works. First of all, a pendulum isn't very mysterious. It's just a blob on the end of a string. But if that were a pen and you let it go, it wouldn't do anything terribly interesting at all. It would just go back and forth, or perhaps swing in an ellipse and just draw an elongated circle on the ground. What you really need is two pendulums mixed. And you can do it like this. The first one is really a piece of string tied at both ends. It's rather like a swing. And being tied at both ends, you can only swing really in one direction, back and forth. The second pendulum is tied where you would sit on the swing, right in the middle. And there you see the blob down there, and that can swing in any direction. And it can do that while the top part is swinging back and forth. So it describes a fairly complex motion down underneath the whole thing. And if that were a pen, it would make a harmonographic design. Well, let's get rid of this and proceed to the real thing. You can't go tying a pen or a pencil underneath one of these. It just dances around on the paper and makes a real mess. What you have to do is to draw with sand. And for that, you make a reservoir, which is best made out of a plastic bottle, something of this kind. What you do is to chop up the bottom and make a hole in the top. And I've started one here, just to speed things up. Let's turn it round, finish it off by knocking it off with scissors. Now that makes the reservoir, as you can see, and because you have to hang that up on the string, you get a skewer and make four holes. One, two, three, four, north, south, east and west. If the skewer has trouble going through the plastic, just heat it up a little on the stove and it will partly melt its way through. You can then put strings through that and tie it up. To let the sand run out, you unscrew the lid and with the same skewer, providing it's wide enough, a nail will do, drive it hard through the middle of the lid like that and you can see that that's going to make a hole quite wide enough to let sand trickle through like an hourglass. And again, heat the skewer if it's having trouble going through. You then screw that back onto the bottle. Well, of course, if the hole is wide enough, you need to make sure that the sand is thin enough to get through it. And I find the best way of sifting the sand is to use a coffee strainer. Get something like beach sand. And if you pour that into the sieve, rattle it round, you can collect a nice container full of really good, dry, smooth running sand. Well, let's test that. I think it should work. Put it into this container, fill it up, make it nice and heavy. And if I take my finger off, you should find that it runs through the bottom and that will actually draw if it's moved around over the surface of something. Okay, let's try that. Let's clear the decks first of all. Here we have the setup. There's a broom poking out over the table. The top V-shaped pendulum is like that. The bottom one is there and hanging on there, we have the sand reservoir. Well, let's fill that up and see what we can produce in the way of designs. Pull it out to one side, and notice that I'm drawing on a tea towel. I find it's best to draw on material because it doesn't let the sand grains bounce around as much as the floor or a piece of paper. Okay, it's just a matter of pulling that to one side and letting it go. Here we are. Well, that's, I suppose, a reasonable enough pattern, but you can produce others. Whatever you do with the pendulum will produce a different design. For example, if you pull the bucket out to one side, like this, you'll get a different pattern. It's more compact, it's just different. And if you change the qualities of the pendulums too, you'll get different designs. For example, if you pull the top one tighter and make the bottom one longer, you get a different design. In fact, there's an infinite number of designs you can make just by juggling around with your sand pendulum. So go to it and see what you can produce in the way of harmonographic designs.